I'm not a makeup artist. I'm a makeup enthusiast. Hello, everyone. Thank you for tuning into my channel. Today, I'm coming to you with my first use of the CoverGirl Queen 3-in-1 Foundations. <laughs> So everyone's been um, asking me about these foundations. Well, I wouldn't say everyone, but I would say a good amount of people. Um, I guess because a lot of the other beauty bloggers are also using it. And um, I've made a video where I've discussed using CoverGirl Queen, so I guess it made sense um, for me to try them out. So I went and I picked up the um, color Q850, which is Sheer Espresso. That's also the color that I think is best for me in the um, in the liquid foundation by CoverGirl that I can't seem to find. Where did I put it? Okay, well anyway, um, and I picked up the color 860, Q860, which is Rich Mink. Okay, so um, because it's a three-in-one, it says that it's a foundation um, plus a sunscreen, and the third thing is, um, I want to say a primer. Um, it says on the packaging, all day flawless coverage, lasting power of a powder, uh, coverage of a concealer, and blendability of a foundation in one. Wow. Um, that's definitely a lot of promises. Um, I have a video where I show me applying my powder foundation, um, the Duo Matte by Matte Makeup Forever, and that's an impressive coverage. And then the coverage of a concealer, I used to have a blemish here on my chin, um, and I would have to conceal it because it was so dark that my uh, foundation could not cover it and um, concealer definitely helped to hide it and then as far as blendability, blendability of a foundation in one um, meaning that it's easy to use so I don't believe what I said about it being a primer as the third thing actually applies here I think it's more of the foundation the sunscreen and uh, concealer I think that's the the three in one so you don't have to necessarily use a concealer under your makeup you don't need to use a moisturizer with SPF in it um, you just got to use this okay so it says apply liberally 15 minutes before sun exposure reapply at least every two hours so it seems like to get the protection of the SPF you got to keep applying it um, for those of you who are concerned about that. But you could just use your SPF moisturizer underneath, honestly, and be good. Okay, so let's get into it. I'm going to start with Q50 because that's the lighter shade and also that's the sheer espresso that I am familiar with. I am not going to prime because I'm just trying it out and I want to see um, what results I get. So I'm going to apply it to the back of this here jar and I'm going to do um, a test swipe like um, what the makeup artist would do if you went into um, get your makeup, you know, tried if you wanted to get if you wanted to get matched. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. Um, so I'm going to use a clean makeup brush. I traditionally use my big um, Sigma brush for full application, but I'm going to use this MAC 189 brush because it's clean. My Sigma brush is dirty, and I'm going to um, try to match myself on the side here. And when you go to get matched, they always put the color on your um, jawline because they want to see if it blends evenly. Okay, so you can see that this color is not blending evenly. It should almost pretty much uh, disappear. That's the idea, is when you have on your perfect shade of foundation, it disappears. I'm actually going to just do the entire half of my face because that, that was my plan to begin with. Okay, so you can see that <laughs> this, 
color is, is really not my color. Oh my God, this color is not my color. Munchkin, this is not mommy's color. Okay, so I'm gonna um, spot clean my brush just so I can get this color off. All right, so now I'm gonna try the um, Q860 in Rich Mink and you can see like, the sheer espresso is not my color. It's way too cool. Look at this yellow. I look like somebody else. So I'm um, gonna match here. Okay. All right, I think rich mink is my color. Do you see how it like disappeared? I mean, obviously I do have makeup on. So there is going to be some coverage, but look at this. <laughs> look at this. I'm actually going to put um, a side-by-side -side of the uh, test swatch or match area of the Sheer Espresso here so we can see a side-by-side. -side. Okay, and now let's put it all over. Okay, so this is the look. I'm going to um, allow for this to like settle in. All right, so this is natural light. Well, some not really natural light actually. There's natural light going on in here, but uh, the ceiling light is on as well. And I want you to just see um, the way that it looks here because it a lot of things look a lot different with light right in your face. Um, everything looks brighter. Um, so this is a less exaggerated look of the two colors and you can see um i think this side looks a lot better than this side i think this side looks really yellow and here's a close-up so you can see coverage for me personally i think that i would keep the rich mink um in the packaging itself this is the Rich Mink. It definitely looks a lot warmer, and this looks a lot cooler. Um, but you never know with these drugstore foundations which way it's going to go because sometimes they just don't look like your shade in the back in the packaging, and then you bring them home, and they are. Sometimes they look like your shade, and you put them on, and they're not, which is what happens to me with the Revlon. Um, definitely check out those videos to see what was up with the Revlon. Um, so I'm going to return this one. So this is what I'm going to do. Let me take off this sheer espresso off this side. I'm going to put rich mink all over, finish up my face, do my hair, and wear it and see what I feel about it at the end of the day. Okay, so I'll be back with the, um, the finished look after I do my face right, and my hair. so this is the finished look. Um, I think it looks good. I actually just took some pictures and shared it on Instagram and um, asked the girls what they thought about the split face with the um, uh, a sheer espresso and then the um, rich mink and they agreed that the rich mink looked more natural and better for my skin tone like overwhelmingly they agreed so I felt comfortable that it wasn't just the way it looked on camera but what I saw in my mirror was accurate I um, put some raisin blush on my cheeks by MAC I did a quick eye look with uh, my Urban Decay Naked 2 palette and on my lips I'm wearing MAC Current Liner and Revlon Plumalicious Lipstick and um, I think it looks good and I took my hair down and rocking a twist out and I think it looks good so if you are looking to try out the Revlon 3-in-1 I would say give it a try I put on two coats um, so to speak I build I build up the coverage so what I did was is you remember I had one coat on here and then I had one coat on here after I took off the other color that didn't look good then I put a coat all over so I have two coats I build up the coverage so it w went from light to I would say medium um, I have dark marks on my face here and on my face here that I feel are really covered up very well um, and I had some issues with um, some build up at the temple of my head I think it could be due to the oil so I think it might need um, some support with blending and 
the MAC brush that I use, I don't think it's that great at applying foundation, um, which is why you see in my other videos, I'm always using my Sigma brushes. I think MAC brushes can be a little overrated sometimes, but um, I think maybe if I try this again, I'll use one of my Sigma brushes to really blend in at the hairline because you don't, this, this is a harsh look for me personally. I think it looks really harsh and I really could not blend it in any more than I did, but I love it. I love the result. Um, it looks like a powder in my opinion and I didn't set with anything. I did not set with any powder, which is why I'm really excited about the result. Like this looks really good. Um, so I would say that I'm going to definitely keep the Rich Mink and I'm going to wear it a lot more often because you don't have to set it with anything and that means uh, less things on your face, much easier to uh, go out the, get out the door quickly when you don't have to put on a whole... Uh, full face of stuff and uh, CoverGirl Queen is very reasonably priced. It's also easy to locate. Um, you can find it in Rite Aid, CVS, Walgreens, Walmart, Target. Um, I found this one in a Rite Aid and they only had one color of the Rich Mink and one color of the um, Sheer Espresso, which is why I picked them both up because I just said, you know what, if I come back, it might not be here. Let me just grab both at this time. So I like it. I think it's a good look. I think it looks really good. Let me know what you think, um, uh, especially for those of you who are looking for an affordable foundation with more of a medium coverage. Um, let me know. So <laughs> uh, please subscribe to my channel. I put out videos every couple of days. If you have any questions leave them below and as always I love you for watching bye